Hi everyone, Mr. Myers here, and we are going to be doing an experiment today on salt water versus fresh water, and what will float in salt water versus fresh water. So, in this cup I have fresh water and three tablespoons of salt, and in the same amount of water over here, it's just regular tap water, regular fresh water. So let's see what items will float and which items will sink in both or one or the other. So let's try it out with a metal measuring spoon in fresh water. What do you think? Will it float or sink? Boop, sinks right to the bottom because the spoon is more dense than the water is, so it sinks. Let's see if the salt water has any effect on this same measuring spoon over here. Boop, sinks right to the bottom. So with a solid metal object, salt water versus fresh, doesn't matter, it's going to sink. Now here's some clothes spins that are the same, have the same weight and everything. Um, let's check it out in the fresh water. Boop, sinks right to the bottom. So it's heavy, it's more dense than the water and it sinks. Same thing over here, let's check it out. Whoa, okay, now that's different. That clothespin actually is floating in the salt water because the, float, the salt water is more dense than the fresh water and therefore it's allowing this item to float. Now let's try this egg out. So in fresh water, this egg will be placed in and let's see what happens. You think it's gonna float or sink? Let's check it out. Boop, sinks right to the bottom. All right, now let's check out versus salt water with the same type of egg. Let's see what's gonna happen. Whoa, check it out. It floats. Now this is a great example of how in salt water, our bodies, the human body is actually way more buoyant or floats better than in fresh water. And it has to do with the density of the water. So the water in salt water is more dense than in the same amount of fresh water. So there's not a different amount of water in there, but the weight of each would be different because I added three tablespoons of salt, which made this water, the salt water, denser than the fresh water. Think of it this way. There's an added ingredient in salt water that is not present in fresh water. And that allows larger items to float better with less effort in salt water versus fresh. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mr. Minis. And you can also try this experiment with different items to test their buoyancy too. And you can try to guess or hypothesize what will float and what will not. All right, until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.